Hello, today we will be looking at a 286 pin connector and how to remove the terminals and then how to reinstall them back into the connector. So first you're going to need a removal tool. Then you're going to need obviously just any old uh, 280 connector. This is a 280 connector uh, that takes the female 280s. Um, so obviously you just need a connector that has 280s in general. So you don't necessarily have to have the six pin, which is pretty obvious, but that's fine. You know, there's your boilerplate. Okay, so we're gonna get right into it. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna remove this blue secondary lock so that you can actually pull out and unseat the wire. So what I like to do is I take the removal tool and there's just a little bit of a gap next to the secondary lock, you can just snap that tool in there. So you don't have to use your, you know, fingers if you don't want to. Make it a little bit easier. Get the other side real quick. It's just, it's just easier in your hands. Okay, so you just take that off. You get your secondary lock, that is off. Keep that, don't lose that. <laughs> You're gonna need it. Um, and so then we're gonna get right into actually unpinning the tool. So. You can see that there's holes at the bottom of each connector. You know, this is where the males would pop in, this bigger hole at the top, but um, at the bottom is the unpinning removal hole. And it's just big enough for your removal tool to get in there. So it's actually right here. And you actually stick that in, you know. Um, it's not like you can really shove it that far in. And then you just push it up. You're just going to work it up a little bit. Don't go crazy or anything. This isn't who's the strongest on pinner. And then you just pull it out. And that's how it's done. Now, I'll show you a little bit what kind of happens. You've got your... 280 female terminal and you've suppressed this tang at the top so that that little tang you see at the top sorry it's a little bit blurry and yes that little metal piece right there that is the tang so if you want to push it back in you're going to need to pop the tang back up so that it it catches the detent as it goes back in so you just pop it up and that's kind of what it's gonna look like I'm a little crazy I want it to like make that nice little click noise so I pop it up just a little bit higher than these uh, two little tangs on each side and then what you do is you just slide it back in obviously you're gonna want to orient it the orientate it the right way and then you pop it right in and you're good to go. And that is how you, you remove it and then reinsert the wire. You know, reseat the wire back into the connector. And you're going to want to make sure you hear that click. And then you snap in back the secondary lock. And that is how it's done. 